G'day guys and welcome to another episode. This should be the first episode we filmed. It won't be the first episode that's come out, but it'll be definitely the first one we filmed uh, for 2022. Yeah, so Happy New Year! Happy New Year's! Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and all that. We've been chilling here in Perth in 47 degree heat. In the heat wave. Their hottest December I think they've ever had in a, a certain amount of hot days. So been in the caravan park concrete slab and it has been hot like it's the been, been getting a workout. it's been very hot so the reason we're up here again and not down south if you've been watching the episodes we've been down south we're back up here is because we're picking up our new caravan so we we released it a couple episodes ago if, go, if you didn't go go back and check out the episode did a bit of a uh, 12 month living with our uh, 70.6 freelander uh been absolutely amazing thing so we're up here and look it's been the reason, look, we were meant to go home to Victoria and all that, spend Christmas with our family and that, but just with all the all the COVID stuff and that, we just decided to stay put. We haven't finished. All the, all the uncertainty. Yeah, we haven't finished what we want to do over here in the West mm. yet. So we've got the van uh, shipped over here. Uh, the, our current van is getting shipped uh, over to Queensland uh, to Rumphy, Tim Rum from Explorn. So uh, he's going to be, he's purchased the van a couple of months ago. So I literally just got the date. 10 minutes ago texted to me this so on the 9th that's going to be on the 9th of jan that's going to be getting on the on a ship for him so and look this whole shipping thing around it's been good but because uh something happened at the ports over here um apparently yeah, have it before Christmas. yeah eleven thousand cars rocked up on these ships that weren't meant to and it's just caused havoc at the ports here so that's sort of been a little bit of a delay but in saying that it's only sort of been five days but there's just that sort of uncertainty that maybe could have stayed here for two weeks like we just didn't know and then uh then he couldn't get us a date for our because we wanted to give tim the the date as soon as we can he's just like he couldn't because i had to cancel ships and it's just yeah it's been it's not it, the shipping oh, company's no, fault no 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 it's like, no one's it's fault of, it's out of their control it's no one's fault but to see it has been a little bit little bit stressful sorta but not that bad would we do it like this again We'll try, definitely try not to. <laughs> definitely try. Like, it's cost me nearly four grand to get the ship over here. Plus, we're helping them getting the ship sent uh, over to east. So, it's cost, it's nearly six, seven grand in freight and mm. freaking caravans around. So, it has been a little bit gnarly. But anyway, we're down here at the ports now. So, the ship ended up, uh, the, after the sat on the water for five days, I was watching on the freaking app. Out it's, past yeah, it, it's over time. here. It's over here. It's been unloaded. So, we've come down, we've had a bit of a look. I got an email before just saying that the, not just we're waiting until when when then we, we can actually physically get the van because it's got to get delivered to george day but we're down here at the ports right now and the caravan is sitting just over there okay. just over there so we've come along the fence here having to creep trying uh, to see like we're looking like, there's some lotus caravans over the back and we're like no that one's not ours. yeah and it's right in front of us it's the right. first time we've just had a quick little look we're going to share with you but we, we had to get out and have a quick look so it's the first time we've seen the van ever the first in time person. we've seen in person in person there's a so lot of many, stuff we haven't seen so many photos you know but the mm. photos obviously never do justice yeah, yeah and we've been very person. patient it's all good but like now that it's there and there's a fence in front of me it is killing me i just want to go inside to see what it's like and just i just want to get it get into it but anyway so it's right there so let's just sneak out uh let's give it through the fence let's give you the the quick first look that user will ever see of our van it's a 2022 Lotus Trooper 19.6 foot. So let's go have a look. All right, so here it is just over there. I'm gonna try and poke the camera through a little bit. All right, squeeze it through. Hang on. There we go. There she is. There she is. Our new home. It looks so friggin' good. This is. I just wanna get it. This is killing me. We're sitting here like freaking losers on the fence and just watching these other boys come and pick oh. up. Pick up other wolf, vans, but are probably like, I know, but oh, I've got a gut feeling that I can we'll have this tomorrow, tomorrow or the next day. I have a gut feeling that we're gonna. What's this truck doing? This truck might be getting it. Hey, hey, pull in. Oh, 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 oh. oh he was looking at it. Yeah. Oh, I, have a, I have a feeling that we're gonna get this in the next couple of days. So, mega, mega exciting. Just the colors, everything is just looking sick. We've got the rims on there. Uh, the different tire sizes which we weren't too sure about, like we were happy with it. I just want to see inside that. Yeah, the bike rack. Look, got the new tub deal bike rack on there. So everything externally is looking, uh, they've absolutely nailed it. So it's looking just the way we wanted it. But the inside is where we made the biggest changes. Uh, and that's why I'm just killing to see. So I'm hoping that those uh, solar panels are getting sun. I know that they said uh, 
because this van left uh, left last minute. I think the batteries are nearly flat in it, so it's been sitting in a ship for freaking uh, nearly two weeks. So it's probably going to be dead flat, but whether it's getting some solar now, I'm not sure. But so exciting. So anyway, I hope uh, what we're going to do this episode is going to be about picking up the van. We're going to do a separate rundown video, but our first first time seeing it in black. Well, yeah, first time seeing it in person, but first time you know when we get to go inside. Yeah, go inside. We're going to pick up from George Day. Uh, and then move all our stuff in there and all that and just oh, yeah all the all the exciting things so george, george day is the caravan caravan yeah yeah people probably don't know that if they're watching from the east yeah coast. so <laughs> next episode we should be driving there and uh sorry no sorry the next uh next time you see us on here is uh when we're hopefully gonna pick this thing up yeah all righty the day has come <laughs> we are so stoked so this ended up being this is the next morning from when we spoke yesterday so down yep. at the ports there the van is right here behind us at george day we got our van here it's been quite a quite a hectic morning we wanted to share our first bit of a look through with you guys but uh we didn't we've already, we, we already been in there <laughs> we've already been in there we've just yeah these guys here that's absolutely full nice so we've done all our pre-checks and we've taken photos of everything and had a look through everything uh everything is spot on other than it's like we got one little uh strip on the door there that's made from the heat or something it's it's, uh, it's come mm, off so adhesive, uh you a little bit of heating on there so a little bit of glue on that and everything else is uh is is spot on so we need to give the batteries a good charge at the moment the red vision isn't, isn't showing us the percentage the so yeah long. so it, it hasn't had a chance solar. yeah it hasn't had a chance to have a full 240 charge yet so can't say hey this is hard like we're trying to we're good this is going to come out before the caravan rundown review so you are getting a sneak look at this but i'm not really going to go into too many features and that so you're gonna have to wait for wait for that there but the the reason of this is yeah we've got the two vans here so we're just going through clean this van again like these the george day aren't we aren't doing the handover and i think this is just our pickup we point so. It, so we don't need a handover yeah so you know usually it's it's clean it's brand new but there's dust and stuff on it and inside and that so but that's usually what gets cleaned up yeah, after all the tradies like when they built it all the tradies with mm. their dirty boots and yeah hands and things like that so yeah, yeah. so that, we're just doing all that ourselves but we've got it packed up here the, the new van here so this that we had a spin out so, last night with yeah, that we, which we we sort of thought maybe last night mm. we had last night in there Last night, last time towing it here, so I'm actually a little bit. I get so attached to cars, vans, bikes, all that. Houses. You know, uh, if it's got a motor, it's got a heart to me. Oh. So I feel, I feel really, really. Uh, it's quite, quite emotional. So, but anyway, we're gonna. We've just quickly cleaned up inside. We're gonna start getting our stuff from this van. From the Freelander. Yeah, put in that van, trooper. and it's hot as hell. We're out in the asphalt here. So hot. So yeah, we've only got a couple of hours to do this. So let's get into it. The moment of truth for you've been waiting to see what, what size? size sheets that you can go and lash out on freaking bedding, isn't it? Yes. So what size are these? These are off is, the. This is a king. King, yeah. I'm feeling the king's like it's, it's got. It's definitely got room to wiggle. It looks a bit loose, actually. It, yeah, but I feel like if it was a queen, it'd be too tight. Mmm, a fair bit of, fair bit of looseness there. Alright, so maybe go with the queen. Alright. Yep. Alright. Queen, queen. queen. <laughs> As you can see, we're a little bit, a little bit hot and bothered. The guys have just, we're in the middle of the sort of the yard here, but they've just, they've just run a lead over to it. So we've had no, we've got aircon now, so it's just, just starting to crank in. But I'm stoked about this TV. So what we've done here is gone to a, a bigger TV. So it's a, uh, it's a 32 inch TV, and it's a smart TV where the other one wasn't. So with the other one, we used to have a Telstra TV box that we had plugged in to have our YouTube, Netflix, all that stuff. So it was separate. This has got it all inbuilt, and obviously it's just a little bit bigger TV. So. Stoked with that. We've got the little navigated TV buddy here, but I'm just not quite sure if it's going to fit in. So I'm just going to uh, unbox it and see if she's going to fit in. Oh, it's really um really thin as well. It's a totally different, totally different TV. All right, well, I'm just going to see. This says up to 25 inches, but it looks like it might might fit. But oh, it's not going to fit. Damn. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of a stuff up. I thought this was definitely, definitely going to fit, but I got to figure out something else there. All right, so what I've been looking forward to most, putting the new bike up on top of the new van there. It's going to make this front end of this thing just look so good.
Look. Okay, up. Up. Good girl. Up. That's all stiff. <laughs> this is no. No. <coughs> Sit down. Your new bed. Sit down. Sit. Good girl. Yeah, is that nice? Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. All right, we're back here after being at George Day. We ended up cutting it a little bit short there. We're just, uh, it was so hot. There's this, <clears throat> it was trying mega, mega hot and trying to get, get everything, everything done. Yeah, it took a little bit longer than what you thought. So we, we yeah, cut it short there. We didn't want to just, it's a bit boring watching us put socks and jocks in drawers <laughs> and stuff like that. So, but we've got it back. We give it a little sneak peek. We've got it back at the van park here. It just looks frigging awesome. We are just, we're stoked. We're stoked. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna just, we're just gonna go and just clean everything. Every we just had to, we just threw some stuff in the back so, uh, at the end there. Yeah, so we just started chucking <clears> in. So it was just getting so yeah. hot, and it was close to them closing. We'd been there all day. Yeah, it's like seven o'clock, and we had just had some subway. That's all we've eaten all day. We're just so excited this morning. And got up and got into it. So we're starting to feel a little bit, a little bit crappy. So we're just gonna keep, uh, we're just gonna keep going, keep getting stuff done, and then I think we'll touch base maybe tomorrow and when. Uh, Give maybe just a little bit of a sneak peek of a, of a few things. Uh, then we'll probably leave it there, I reckon. Back down here at George Day, just doing the final, final, final preparations uh, to get the van ready to go. It's going to be shipped off uh, in about two or three days. So the guys here, they got some guys at the back that gave it a, gave it a clean for us. This is the first time I've ever had anyone else uh, clean my caravan for me. <laughs> so it's um, come up. yeah, it's come up, come up really, really good. So it's just saved us a lot of time having to go take it somewhere and trying to do it properly at car washes. And it's just an absolute nightmare. So. Great for the guys have been helping us helping us out here, heaps of George Day. So I'm just gonna go and do my little final touches, get underneath and just like see how see the suspension, just get that looking a bit better. Go around, last few little wipes and that. We've done the tunnel boots. Uh, then we've just got to do our final clean on the inside. Uh, take the number plate off because it can't be, I can't uh, transfer it into state. So it's got to get sold unregistered. He's gonna do that bit his end. I think we're getting pretty bloody close. So it's getting a little bit, a little bit sad now. This is probably going to be the last day we might see the van. So just going to do the do the final things, give you a walk, bit of a walk around, and uh, see what that looks like. Everything is done inside and outside, all done. So, so friggin' stoked. Let's give you a quick uh, little look through it. heading back out to the Lancel and Dunes so if you watched a couple episodes ago uh, it was actually quite a while ago actually when we were uh, heading down south to head to Perth went into Lancel and Dunes there uh, spent the Arvo did a lot of driving riding uh, the reason heading back out today we've teamed up with uh, Chris and Sean from Big Oz Explorers uh, took us ages to try and figure out trying to what we're going to do we wanted to organize a little bit of a uh, Christmas party slash just just a social catch-up really uh, with just fellow travelers and anyone that sort of wanted to uh, wanted to come along so couldn't get anywhere in town so we sort of thought why not we'll come out here we're going to do a bit of bit of uh, sandboarding uh, so it's nice and friendly for the kids as well uh, do some full driving then we're going to go hit up the tavern later for a couple of couple of cheekies and a little bit of a feed so it's awesome we did, uh, all met up with the server there had a nice convoy uh, on the way out here down the highway so again just meeting new people or a few there's actually quite a few white 62 patrols out here it's nearly turned to bloody uh 62 meet up there's all kinds of different cars out here uh, and again it should be it should be an absolute ripping day so let's get into it we pulled up to the dunes it runs this air and down all the cars behind me there and we're gonna go check out some of these dunes and have a bit of fun Oh, the lads are bloody straight into it. It looks like we've got a bit of a recovery, recovery happening already. So it's a Y62, recovering a Y62. So we're going to go and check it out, see what's going on. Mate, 
you're not giving the Vitrales a good name. What are you doing? <laughs> Alrighty, first little hill here. See how we go. going on here for Y62. I had to call the army in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had to call them. Y62 is like, yeah. a bit stuck up on the hill there. We're getting the big mog out. the whole way up there. Very close to make it. I'm actually quite impressed by the, the old ram. This is this hill is massive, like it does it no justice on here. It's gonna chuck some max tracks under the front tires and uh, uh get it back, it should be all right.
turn up now. What an awesome day. It's been so good to see people who, you know, wouldn't normally get out and have a full drive, having to go at some of these big sand dunes. So good on them. We're gonna head into the pub, have a bit of a feed, have a drink, a bit more of a chat with everyone. So we'll see you on the next one.